Check it out, watch right here. Oh my god, why is this one fighting? People, there we go. Look at that. This here is my 24 inch flounder pounder. The reason that it's 24 inches is because when I fish for flounder, I am on the go. I go from one spot to the other. On a flounder fishing trip, I go to at least five spots. Luckily, out of the list of five spots, when I go to the first three, I can hit a little bit quick, fast, easy, especially during the flounder run. I know a lot of people like to fish the flounder it gets it's easier it's a lot easier to catch more flounder i prefer to fish for flounder in the summer so what we're going to do here is i'm going to explain to you why i have this combo this is a 24 inch custom rod and nobody has this maybe like one or two people in the u.s who knows it doesn't matter the reason it's so small is because i am on the go i can put this in my backpack anywhere I can put it in my pocket through my shirt if there are places that you can't cast because the rod is too long really in close spaces this setup here is perfect this black rod has black and gray wind grips a fuji reel seat fuji guides everything on it is quality the rod the reel shimano Corrado dc 150 Alright, let's put on, uh, we got the old stubby here. This is the only flounder combo like this. Nobody ever, ha no one has one like this. Guaranteed. This is custom, this is custom stuff right here. Check it out, yo. <laughs> it's gonna be quick. This will be quick and easy. After I finish fishing out these, there we go. All these little finger mold are jumping because Thunder are probably trying to get to them. There we go. Check it out. Oh, both of us double hook up. Perfect. Good job, love. Oh, I see it. Land them. Oh, it's going to be hard. You know, right away we got we both got a hook up at the same time, but I forgot my flyer, so
Here, let me cut that one off real quick. That one, we can at least put a new hook on that one. Check out Alice's first flounder right here. Check it out, y'all. This is her first flounder. She got on these little balls, stinky balls. Check it out, y'all. Got another one. Check it out, y'all. Ah! Well, that was quick release. <laughs> oh, did you get a big one or what? No, it's a snake. Oh. <laughs> it's a whale. Oh. <laughs> of look, look at that jig heads. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're gonna save all these jig heads. Keep moving. Let's come a little closer over here. Perfect. Right there. There has to be something right there. That guy's been fighting that flounder for like 30 minutes already. <laughs> does he have a, what does he got? A stingray or what? Oh, average size. We gotta come out here and get some of my uh, flounder fishing before I... Alright, let me put another hook on there. I guess I can just use one of these over here. Ah, oh, what is this? Okay. Yeah, scavenger fishing. Look at that. I don't even. I got. I don't even have to get in my bag. No. <laughs> Salvage fishing. All right, so I lost my bottom hook, so 
Well, actually, there's a lot of uh, jig heads out here that we're using. I don't even have to search because I've been pulling up hooks left and right with jig heads and with gulp and stuff. So I got got this one. This is like a probably a quarter ounce. Half, actually, it might be a half ounce jig right here. Check it out. We're gonna put another piece of gulp on there. Hopefully, uh, we can catch something else. This is a bigger one. Oh, this is a, this is a decent size. Oh, this is a nice size. This is probably gonna fall off the hook right now. <laughs> Big difference when you set the hook immediately. Man, check it out, y'all. This is a fat flounder. Right this is at least 20 inches. Look at this. This thing is thick. Maybe like 21, 22 inches. This thing. Look at that. Look how it goes all up to my bicep. More actually, almost up to my arm. Check it out. Huge flounder right here. This is something you would keep and you feed the entire family with this. Look how thick it is. Look at that. It's like that thick in the shoulders. Check it out, y'all. That's a thick flounder right there. So, you know, this is why they cook. Get my board. Get my board. Hell yeah. Nice size. Another one. Look at that shit, man. There's another one right here. Elite AF. This is like already like the eight. This is like how many? Eight? Another one. Oh, perfect. Wow. <laughs> That's like four quick releases already. <laughs> Hey, why is this one? Why is this one fighting? <laughs> oh my God! Why is this one fighting? Oh my God! This, this is. I think this is a big flounder. Oh, it is a big flounder. It's a huge flounder. Look at that. That's a fucking, that's like, oh my God, that is a big flounder. Look at that. That's a fucking, that's like, oh my God, that is a big flounder. Look at that, oh my God, that's a, that right there is a doormat. Look at that, oh my God, that's a fucking, that right there is a doormat. Look at that. <laughs> That's such a big flounder. Oh my god, this is amazing.
Why? <laughs> oh my, this is a big fucking flounder. Oh. This is a big flounder. Ah, I'm nervous for me too right here. I don't want to lose any of this. This is what happens when you come unprepared. Look how big it is! Big as a rice. The rod's 24 inches. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing. Look at this thing, guys. This thing is huge. This is like what they call on the East Coast and fluke. Check it out. This is a huge flounder. Literally as big as my arm. Look at that. Look at that. Look how big this fucking flounder is, guys. It's a fluke. That you it's a fluke. <laughs> it's so big you don't want to put it back. I don't want to put it back. To. I'm going to take it home. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, big! Check it out, yo. This is probably my PB. You know what? I have a board, a measuring board. I'm gonna put it on there. Look how big it is. This might be my PB flounder right here. All right, so the flounder just fell in the water. We were trying to get a picture with the measuring board, but it fell, which is fine. It was already out for like a minute. So uh, we're probably gonna be swimming out here somewhere, and uh, hopefully it doesn't turn out to be dead. But we can't keep them, and uh, that's why sometimes fish for flounder are doing the close season. You know, it's kind of iffy because stuff like that happens. So what I do now, I'm going to use this product. Check it out, y'all. I'm going to use my stinky balls to catch the flounder. Look at that. These are little uh, balls that are dissolving the water after a while. And it's supposed to attract flounder, which it does. Because Al has just caught like three flounder on these. So I'm going to try them now. My turn. I'm going to put two on here. And uh, we'll see what happens. These are all the flounder pounders. Here we go on the stinky balls. Wow. Yeah, they hit that hard. Man, they hit these stinky balls hard. Little bit potato chip here, guys. Check it out, a small one. Real small. It hit the stinky balls pretty hard though. Like it went pah, and I felt it. Yeah. I felt that hit. You know what? I didn't even feel the big flounder hit. Well, I did actually. I felt like a snag, kind of, but this one was a hit. Potato chip here, guys. Check it out. A small one. Real small. It hit the stinky balls pretty hard, though. Like, it went pow, and I felt it. Mm -hmm. I felt that. Hit. You know what? I didn't even feel the big flounder hit. Well, I did, actually. I feel like a snag, kind of, but this one was a hit. All right, one last thing. I'm going to show you what I was using. These are salty head jig heads. I love these jig heads. I've been using them for a while. This specific pack, I bought them from George at the fishing show. I haven't used them. 
I really like them. They look great. The hooks are great also. And he also makes a sick bucktail. Watch. The next video, I just used one of his bucktails and I caught a ton of flounder. His bucktails are quality. Love to use them. Next up is the Stinky Balls. <laughs> this is a new product for me. Uh, I reached out to a company, Stinky Balls. I thought the name was funny. So I wanted to see how this product works. I got me some, tried them on, of course they work. You know, I got the flounder pounder, I got the shrimp, peeler crab, and I also have a prototype of a inshore mix. I'm gonna be using these salty balls from now on and hopefully uh, find a good replacement for uh, carrying around dead shrimp and stuff like that. But I like them, they feel great. The consistency feels really good. They're not mushy, they're firm. And apparently as soon as you put them in the water, the scent starts to disperse and it starts to attract flounder. I caught one, Alice caught two. So far, so good, it works. So uh, I'm gonna be coming to keep using them and I'll keep y'all updated. But so far, the stinky balls, <laughs> they work. I mean, imagine, I was gonna name this video Fisherman uses his stinky balls to catch flounder, <laughs> but that's too much. You know, I had a video that I made uh, a few months ago, <laughs> and I flew out a bait, a big old bait with my drone, and I named it <laughs> Fisherman Takes a Giant Dump, Dumps, uh, something like that, and uh, people thought it was funny, but then some people got offended. And one more thing also, if you're gonna be flounder fishing, make sure you know the areas. Don't go out there trespassing. If you see me fishing someplace and it's questionable, don't go. Don't go. I had two anglers follow me. Two pelicans, actually. They followed me to my fishing spot one day that only I have access to because I speak to people, I know people. And they went back there. Guess what? They called the police. They both got a $500 fine. And then a few days later, you know what happens? They DM me insisting and demanding me to pay their fines. You know, why should I suffer for their shortcomings? Because they can't find their own spots. So be careful out there, do your research. I have multiple videos on how to catch flounder and how to find your own spots also, okay? I appreciate y'all, good luck, and I hope you can land your PB flounder this year. Thanks for watching.